Hello, everyone. Uh, so I'll be trying out Pit 102 in my Spiritborn. Uh, so first, I'm going to use a resource uh, elixir to get the plus 25 maximum resource, life, stats, and dexterity. So we got 1800 there. So I finished 99, and then I'm going to try 102. Let's see how I do. Uh, there might be some keyboard smashing or clicking. I'm just using a headset, so I don't know how it's going to record. This place is settling. Me playing. Uh, stick around. You'll see something that's gonna change uh, how people run the pit. I remove the freezing element and change it with barrier tempering for one of the builds. Because it kept grabbing the vortex does not help those enemies. Not good. Need more time.
it's like the times better now. Need more time. I think I'll get through it in one try. That's definitely not ready. It's like it just disappears. Not ready. Switching that room. I think that's gonna be. Oh no. This guy killed me. This is the only boss that kills me. Face. That's one minute, so 
already half life. Need more time. Uh, you see my gear. It'll be. <laughs> oh, it's pretty funny how bad my gear and master work is. Nah, I don't want to get things to Tyrells. Not ready. And it's not even optimized. show you my gems which is only 80, 80, 78, 72 and 69 talons the highest uh, plus two for fulminate also another plus two plus two I just like getting the plus two so I don't run more than I have to for this all right so the technique that i was saying is you can actually switch runes during the f during the pit i'm not sure if people have been doing that or not but in the first phase I had, i'm using vortex uh pop and q which is the resources for the generation and bulwark for surviving then this one I'm using the soul with cry which is the vortex um, and on the boss fight I'm using this which adds plus three to all skills for seven seconds I believe it's the, until the first uh, activation it's a full uptime but I didn't really pay attention to that yet uh, here's my gear. It's just uh, Masterwork 10 just to hit the 1800 decks right there and 500 500 for the stats uh, This one's actually good uh, hit the damage reduction twice uh, This is the 2GA Tyrell's uh, movement speed for some reason, but it's so expensive and I didn't want to grind some Forgotten Souls, which is kind of rough this season. Uh, this is the GA gloves, which is nothing really. <laughs> I don't even have the quill bore skill, and it's not even hit the masterwork. Uh, yeah, so resources are tough, and it's only 8 of 12. Here's the pants. Uh, I couldn't find any with basic skills, so I just re rolled for a little bit, and I don't waste too much gold so I just got that uh, resilient is very important to help your survivability uh, that's the aspect and here's my rod of Kepeleke which <laughs> they didn't even heat the max resource and I just let it be so and it's a 2.8 let's see here's the runes uh, here's my amulet so the armor and I rolled for decks and kept the life there uh, life is fine it actually helps me survive because I don't even have the GA for other stuff so I think that's fine uh, even, especially for all the other content um, here's the ring I think the attack speed is not needed because of the, the aspect that's here that I think you might be over cap with attack speed I'm not really sure what the cap is because uh, the guide makers haven't said anything so I just kept it as that um, this is the my midnight sun 47 uh, it's good enough uh, you need a hundred percent resource regenerate or more than a hundred percent resource generation which I think I hit once I start attacking uh, spirit hall got the gorilla just because of this uh, aspect to get that 1500 bonus then uh, Jaguar 
Uh, abilities, here's a quick... Um... Quick overview. So... This one is... A fulminate. For the starting board. Then Talon with Convergence. Uh, it's different for everyone depending on what stats you have, but health is definitely needed, so I grabbed this after I got most of the stuff that I need. And I just start prioritizing and looking at uh, the guides to 300 online to see what I need. I think for more survivability I need to grab those but I just been uh, adding more stuff for intelligence for lightning damage because it it's the one with the multiply uh, multiplayer player and the the bottom I was first doing it with eagle damage and then I realized that it doesn't multiply eagle damage it just multiplies lightning damage so I was like why am I wasting uh, that multiplayer multiplayer there. So this is the I uh, got some attack speed there, and here is uh, revenge, which just ups your resources with the sapper right there, sapping, which is what you need. Um, then the next, the last, I believe, yeah, the last one. Uh, the gorilla colossal which is the gorilla damage um, yeah then you can get uh, the revealing uh, I'm not sure if I can show my mercenaries since it's bugged oh it's not bugged anymore okay that's good uh, but here it is uh, sometimes it just doesn't show up which is kind of funny um, reinforcements, uh, Scourge with Earthbreaker. Uh, so that's it. Oh, oh, skills. Yeah, skills. Yeah, so the main thing is if you're trying to push and you just want to kill the boss fast, I recommend using this. Uh, plus three to all skills, so it, it includes all your passives, even if you don't buy them. So, it's quite powerful. Uh, I think they're gonna nerf that one. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna try to improve my gear and keep leveling my gems to see how far I can push it. But it's kind of hard to get legendary gear right now. And I'm not lucky with uh, some drops, except for that mythic Tyrells. So my Quill Valley is only level 10, which is so low, really. <laughs> Uh, here's the passives, so just grab all the passives that increase damage basically I'd even I'd even grab that to reduce damage because I just survive <laughs> all, all of it without really well, Just by tanking everything um, Yeah uh, So the build uh, I'll put the build that I'm using the guy that I'm using but uh, I just remove the counter, the the ultimate levels from that, and put it on some of the passives like dominant and uh, resilient right here. Yeah, resilient is the one that I think helps you survive a lot. Um, yeah, pretty much. So I got to 102. I'm gonna try to push more, see if I can get to 110, just so. I don't have to worry about the chance of uh, upgrading my gems and failing. Uh, we'll see if I I can do that. But I'll level those other this this two first and level uh, the the three main damage to a hundred probably. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just post a comment, and then I'll get back to you. So yeah, it's been fun. So just try it. If you're trying to push the pit, uh, yeah, just remember that you can actually switch runes inside.
I'm not sure if that's intended or not, but uh, hopefully it's part of the game and it's more possibility to, to do something, not just like build and just stay in one thing and you can't, there's no strategy really except for just getting the best gear and damaging. So if there's a way so you can change uh, your setup midway, it's fine. I think it's fine, but I'm not sure. Okay. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.